Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So now we are going to talk about a scenario where uh, we have to download a particular file and maybe we have to perform some other things on that, like maybe verifying a PDF file or verifying an image file or any particular file from your application, right? So this is the scenario. Now, there are two ways of doing this. Either uh, you can go ahead with the normal way of downloading a file, which is when you click on that file, then it downloads it into the downloads folder. From there, uh, you can then uh, transfer it into a separate folder, or you can go ahead and verify in the downloads folder, right? Um, but this might be a lengthy process, and sometimes it may be a little complicated. There is a more easy way of uh, getting this done uh, using the curl command, and uh, you can use the curl command in Tosca as well. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that. Now, for this, uh, I picked up um, a sample application which has got a number of different download links. You can see here, right? So these, uh, all these download links, we have to uh, download this file, maybe sample media .file .png. Okay, and then uh, we can also verify whether this file exists or not. So um, this is a scenario. Now, how you can do that, um, as I said, the usual way is to click on that and then it downloads and then you can go to the downloads folder, but there is the other way um, and that is using curl. Okay, what is curl? Um, it is an open source tool. Uh, it is a command line tool uh, to transfer data uh, using different uh, network protocols. Okay, so uh, the name stands for client for URL and that is called curl, right? You can download it uh, for free um, for Windows uh, operating system right from here and uh, it will get installed into your command line tool. Okay, uh, once it's downloaded, uh, you can go to uh, CMD and here you can check whether it is downloaded or not. Okay, so just type curl and then help. If it returns all these options, that means uh, it is installed on your system and uh, you can use it. Now, um, we are going to use one of the parameters here, which is this output parameter. And uh, in this output parameter, it will download the file into this particular file location, which we specify, okay? And there are other options also here. So let's pick up an example, okay? So here, uh, if I come here and I can pick up some link, I will copy the link address here and then come back here. So here I'm going to type curl and then uh, we need to put the link here of that particular file. And then we have to type the parameter dash O and then uh, we can type the file path here. Okay, so if I want to download it into a specific folder like this C temp folder, so I'm going to specify this followed by this file name. So I'm going to keep it spectrum.png, okay? And then uh, you will see that it has completed the download. I can verify that going to my ctemp folder, you will see spectrum.png is downloaded, right? So uh, that's the way. Uh, how you can download a particular file directly from your command line tool. Now, uh, we are going to do the same thing uh, with Tosca, okay? So uh, let's go to test cases and let's create a folder here. Uh, we are going to call this download. And then I am going to add a test case called download file, okay? And then we need to add a test step here, which is called the tbox start program. So here uh, we are going to start a program with some arguments and that program is the powershell.exe, okay? So we were going to execute this command in PowerShell. So I will start this and then um, in the arguments, 
the first argument would be curl okay and then um, we'll follow the same way how we have done it earlier this time let's pick up a different um, file which we want to download i am copying the link address here and then come back here i am going to pass this link here then the third argument is dash o that's the uh, parameter and then uh, we are going to pass uh, where we want to download it right so again i'm going to download it in c temp file and i am going to specify the file name media.png okay so these are all the arguments also in wait for exit i will specify true here so it will wait for exiting the application and then let's go ahead and let's execute this okay so i'm going to execute this test case now and you will see here um, it executed the powershell.exe with this arguments and then process stopped so how to verify whether it was downloaded well you can go back to the temp folder the media.png is saved here now coming to the next step uh, which is to verify whether the file exists um, not manually but through tosca so that can be done easily by adding another test step and here you can check for file existence so tbox file existence that's the module and here i just need to pass the directory where that file exists and i need to pass the file name here okay um, and then the action mode will be verify now uh, if i go ahead and just run this okay so you will see uh, verification was successful and expected value found one match for this particular file okay so this is how it works uh, you can use the curl command uh, to download any particular file uh, you can use the powershell.exe or the command line tool for windows and then uh, you can perform uh, the verification whether that file exists or not okay so end-to-end -end scenario where uh, you can download the file and then you can also verify the file that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video